Hey, what's up, YouTube? I wanted to start this video. This is called Command Line, where we are right now. See, I can type stuff, you know, like, hello, YouTube. Okay, if you ever find yourself in this screen, in this screen, first thing, you should always have a USB keyboard handy, especially around your Pi. You know, when you buy a new Dell, they give you one for free. You know, just keep a USB keyboard around. Otherwise, you can buy, like, an Amazon Basic one for really cheap. I'll link it in the description. Uh, but when you're here, most people are like, well, I'm stuck. What do I do here? Uh, usually you want to get back into emulation station or a track mode. If you want, what you need to do is just type emulation station, all one word, and then hit enter on your keyboard and it'll boot you back into emulation station. But while you're here, a couple other commands that you should know are reboot, which will reboot your Pi. The other one is sudo shutdown. Because you have to do sudo because if you just do shutdown, it won't give you the um, permission to do that. It'll say must be in your root. So in order to be a root, you need to do sudo and then shut down. And then that'll start a process. And it takes about a full minute to uh, shut down your Pi from here. Um, so you can reboot, shut down, and then the other command you'll probably be using is just typing in emulation station. There's a lot more, but those are the three that you should definitely know. And as you see, once I click that, it should boot you into emulation station. Now this is usually when you, when you start up your RetroPie for the first time, or maybe you're doing Ray's image, or Motion Blue, or Dean's image, or all, the, or all these Kevin's images, all these images out there, whatever it is, usually it should boot you into emulation station first, and then prompt you to configure your controller. If it doesn't prompt you to configure your controller, then you have to hit the start button, and then go down to in, configure input, and then uh, are you sure you want to configure your input? You'll say yes. And then uh, you hold down the A button and it should detect your controller. Now if it doesn't uh, connect your controller, it could be a couple of common things wrong. Uh, the first one being that your Bluetooth isn't enabled. So if you, you see there, I just went over, there should be a menu called RetroPie. Go ahead and click into that. With, you could do that with your keyboard again. And then uh, there's Bluetooth and you need to either turn this on or off in uh, this menu uh, here and uh, get it paired up to your device. The um, other thing is that you might need to actually go into, um, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So I, I accidentally pressed over, so I pressed um, B to go back and then A to go forward, so A back in here. And uh, you can go into your uh, RetroPie setup and you might need to install uh, drivers for your particular controller. For example, a lot of people who want to use the PlayStation controller have to use um, the uh, PlayStation driver. So as you can see here, uh, number 815 PS3 controller. You need to install it especially for the, the wireless PlayStation 3 controller. I'm pretty sure it uses this. Uh, I'm using the Xbox controller, so I use 835, which is the X-pad. And then there's also a joystick if you're using like a cabinet. So you want to make sure that the drivers are installed for whichever um, type of controller you're using. So there's Bluetooth, and then there's the, uh, the, the uh, drivers themselves, and then you need to go ahead and configure it in emulation station. Once you configure an emulation station, it should be set for a track mode as well. Um, unless it's MAME, you could get into Retro Arc, which we're not gonna do in this video, um, as well as there, you can see my other videos, when you press tab on your keyboard, when you're in a main game, which is an arcade game, you can configure your controllers for that specific game, or that specific emulator, which is the, the main emulator. But for like Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and PlayStation, all that, they're gonna use whatever controllers you, you set up when you went into this screen here and you did the configure input. This is where your main controls will be. Um, a couple other more common questions are audio which is, um, you know, you can switch between HDMI and your audio port out. So if you're using the um, headphone jack, you can switch to that. If you're using HDMI, you can switch to that. There's also a way to stop the, the some people have a hissing noise coming out of their, uh, if they're not doing HDMI, they're doing the 3.5 port. And there's a way that you can turn that off. And I'm gonna link it in the description uh, below. Uh, two last things. The next one is just Wi-Fi. In order to connect to the Wi-Fi, you want to go ahead and go back to that RetroPie setup screen, and uh, there should be in the packages, not packages, but one of these settings here when we get into this menu, uh, configuration and tools, which is C, the fourth one down. You uh, can scroll down here, and there is one called 
Wi-Fi, 831 Wi-Fi. Go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi, type in the password. Uh, otherwise, you could just connect your Pi directly into an Ethernet cable, Cat5 cable, Cat6, whatever you're using, and uh, you should, it should just automatically configure for that. But if you do want to do Wi-Fi, that's the way to do it. Uh, the last thing I want to do that's a common question is, how do I have it so um, it boots directly into a track mode or boots directly into emulation station? So if I want to have it every time I turn on my Pi to go directly into a track mode, all I have to do is collect, once I do this button here, restart in a track mode, I have now set my Pi up to defaulting into a track mode. So it's loading a track mode now, and usually I'll show you how I shut down my a track mode in a second here. So here I am in a track mode, and I just booted from emulation station, and I clicked restart into a track mode. And if you want to um, shut down at this point, you can just go ahead and go to that RetroPie setup there and click shut down here. And when you shut down, your Pi will turn off. And uh, the next time you boot up, it'll boot up in a track mode, no problem. There's a second way you can shut down, and some people do this on accident, is you press escape on your keyboard or you press uh, A button on your controller while you're on the main screen, and then it goes, does this, and maybe you accidentally hit yes. And uh, what that'll do is it'll bring you into a command prompt. And remember, I taught you already that you could just do sudo shutdown, and that'll go ahead and shut it down. And again, it takes about a minute. It has like a delay on it for a minute. So um, after about 60 seconds, it'll turn off. Now you can go ahead and turn off your TV and your, your sound system at this point while it's shutting down, but do not unplug it until uh, that full minute is gone. The next time when I boot up, I just unplug the power source and plug it back in. It'll just boot directly into a track mode. So I, I rebooted and now I'm in a track mode again because I just exited from a track mode the last time, so now it's defaulting to a track mode. Now, if you want to default to emulation station, I can go here and just click on it through the attract mode setup. It's a little hard to see, but you can see on the command line, it says switching default boot to emulation station. So rather than booting into attract mode, it'll boot into emulation station, as long as I shut it down from emulation station now. And if I want to set it back to attract mode, I just do what I did before. Retropie setup, restart and attract mode. It's that easy. I hope you like this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.